What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm gonna be doing an interview with the owner of Z7 Graphics. We're gonna jump right into it, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and if you guys enjoy the video, give it a like, comment your thoughts down below, enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have Z7, Z7, I don't know exactly which one you go by. Z7, yeah, Z7 Graphics. Okay, we got Z7 Graphics. I'm gonna let him introduce himself and what he does. I right, so um, I'm... Uh, Zach Jones, I'm the owner of a Z7 GFX or Z7 Graphics. Uh, uh, we do wraps, graphics. Um, I actually do a little PPF work, even though we don't advertise it. Okay. And um, pretty much everything else. So. Okay. Well, I'm going to start you off with the question: Why do you get into the business? Uh, it's kind of a long story, but uh, <laughs> can you I sum it up? Yeah, I started off in the graphic designs part, and then um, I worked for a couple of guys right out of college. I just liked seeing stuff, you know, designing stuff and then having it printed. And then I uh, ended up doing a wrap design for one of the guys, and uh, I think within a couple of months, it already paid for uh, the wrap in the trailer. He, I think, you know, the first job he sold off of it, you know, paid for the whole trailer and, you know, wrap and then some. And that's what kind of really got me interested. And then, uh, so, uh, Started out in my parents' two car garage, and uh, and uh, they uh, slapped a rolling printer in there, a laminator, and a table, and barely had enough room to walk around in <laughs> for a while. So that's that's how I got started, and then um, now we're in a we built a shop, about a, about a four thousand square foot shop. It's all heated and aired, everything. And that's where we're at now, and so that's sweet. Really enjoy it, and uh, wake up every day doing doing something I like love doing so that's awesome it's a good thing very cool so out of all the different things you do from you, you still do graphic design I'm assuming yeah um, that's kind of where my bottleneck is right now uh, oh, okay I got a few things right now I got to get done and I, I just I actually I need kind of somebody to take it over honestly um, <laughs> I'd, I'd, rather, I'd much rather focus on the install side but I, I hate sitting behind a desk okay I, I was gonna ask out of all those things do you yeah. prefer to be actually installing instead of designing? Yeah, printing and installing. I say, I say installing first, second is printing and production, and third, my least favorite is the design part now. No, oh, okay, sweet. Uh, yeah. What's What's your favorite from all the things you install? Is it printed graphics or is it signage or color change? What do you What do you prefer? Just uh, I'd rather do wraps. Printed wraps, I guess, because that's the that, that gets. The, I know uh, that's going to give the customer a good turn on investment. I can't remember that. Yeah, we do flat panel signs. Um, and we do. Uh, it, I guess this, the biggest thing we do is we do wraps, graphics, some color change, auto restyling, and then we do uh, uh, a lot of decals, big decal orders. Oh, okay. Uh, do a lot of those. You don't. I don't post a lot of those. There's a lot of things I don't post on Instagram. Um, but uh, I think yeah, that's a lot of businesses. Stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't like to advertise who, who all my customers are. Well, so. there's no need to, right? Yeah, yeah. As long as they keep me busy. So exactly. Uh, favorite job that you've done? Like, is there is there a favorite rap I, job? I know you've done some pretty cool stuff. I said I don't know. I'm talking my head. <laughs> uh, I guess when you've done a lot of cool stuff, it's hard to pick one. <laughs> No, I don't really have a favorite. Honestly. No, <laughs> um, that's that's all good. I just thought you know, um, I like I had some that I don't have good memories of, but uh, <laughs> it turned out pretty good. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'd say that the the one of the cooler ones I've done is that um is a Challenger, it's like a it's a X two seventy five. Well, I don't know what X two seventy five, but it's a it's a drag car pretty much. I think I posted on October twenty first. Uh, yeah, it was a cool job. That guy was at Texas. I grew up in drag racing. I got a lot of context, so that's helped me out a lot in this business. But um, yeah, we did like a uh, that car was copper, like a copper orangeish color, and uh, we did a, a like a rust kind of patina look when he he wanted all the American flag and all that stuff in there. And we did we printed on 3M satin white aluminum, and then done like an ultra matte laminate, and then did the hood and some other parts with a uh, satin satin black and uh, yeah I'm looking, turned out pretty I'm looking at it right now it's sick it's very cool well done thank you appreciate it so that was kind of our first my first shot at patina wraps or something no okay I learned a lot on that but uh, yeah patina uh, patina is cool I like it if it's done right yeah if it's done right um, I've seen some done in gloss that's kind of, kind of a little odd <laughs> it, it is yeah 
but it, it turned I, well I take that back it's, it's all right because you know uh, you know there's patina stuff out there that's got a clock you know gloss uh, clear coat on it that's so true that bad. yeah i gotta ask you, you you did that patina toolbox crap yes sir did that end up in alabama do you know uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was so the guy had it on his the dealer that we did it for had it on his truck for about a year and it wasn't selling. Uh-huh. So then he had this idea to do the patina wrap. We did the wrap on it, and then he said it sold the next day. So I don't know where it ended up. Okay, because we did a um, dad. My dad owns a Snap On franchise. Okay. And um, so back, I think it was earlier this year, or last year, um, a, bo- a box that looked just like that rolled off the Snap On rolling. They got that rolling tool box. Yeah. yeah. Was being and then it showed up at our shop. I had to store it for a few days. I don't know what happened to it, but I saw that picture you posted the other day, and I was like, "That looks very familiar." Like, so I it, wonder the, if that guy the same exact place, exactly the same I as that. It look, I was trying to find I was trying to find pictures of it on my phone because I know I took it, but I couldn't find it. But it was like it was eerily similar. The only thing I don't remember is it was there a little red on the uh, the handles. Yeah, we left. We left the top, the top part red. I, I couldn't remember if that was that, but if that was left like that. But man, that thing looked like. I, I'm just, I'm just curious. That guy sold it <laughs> and ended up down here. I have no idea. But that'd be pretty funny. If it did, that's a small world. So, yeah, no uh, joke. Any tips, tricks, um, anything that you would say to someone that's starting out in the industry, or new to the industry, or if you just want to share some knowledge? Oh uh, gosh. Um, Keep low, keep your overhead as low as possible for starting out. Um, I bought a, at the time I bought an XR640 Roland. I still got it. That, that's a great machine. Uh, I think they just discontinued that here recently. And um, that was a, that was a big chunk to swallow, you know, first starting out. You know, that's like a, you know, knew that was like a $30,000 printer. Yeah. Then I had to buy a laminator and everything else. And that, that, I, I wish I would have started up with a little more uh, money in the bank than I did, <laughs> but uh, I felt I had a little bit of a hole dig up, but I, I done my way out of it, so I'm doing all right now. But yeah, just um, yeah, just make sure you got a, some money in the bank before you, you know, it's, it's it's tougher when you start out with nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but other than that, just um, you know, just grind, just grind it out, and you know, it's going to take a little while, you know, to, to get there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I guess that that would be the two things I would recommend. But yeah, if if, if you uh, you know, if you take pride in your work and you do well, and uh, you know, it, it'll, it'll all work out. You know, so uh, I'm. I'm a. Uh, it was sometimes that I uh, was kind of like, why in the hell I just not get a job out of college? But now it's kind of like I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, so yeah. Sweet, that's good. So how do you? How do you guys like your? You got a VG? Yes. Forty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How do you like it? Um, print is amazing. Print quality is yeah. awesome. I haven't seen anyone in our area do better than our prints, but apparently it's having issues with the cutting. That's yeah. So I I, I bought a VS six forty, which is not it's the same one. Doesn't have the cutter though. Oh, okay. So I ordered that back September fourth, and I got the printer in November, and they told me today that the cutter, which is like the roll, you know, they had that that promo going on. I don't know if you saw it or whatever. You oh, okay. Buy the VS. By the GR640 or whatever it's called. Anyway, they, it's in Texas right now. It's, on, it's making its way here finally after ordering it in September. But uh, yeah, so I'd, I, I've been kind of, we got two printers right now the XR640, which is the print and cut, and then the VF, which is only a print only. So it's been kind of a little aggravating um, printing off on the VF. And then, you know, it's kind of the whole reason I bought the separate cutter is because it's, it's a lot better when you're doing one high volume. Exactly. Yep. Like, uh, and um, that's been a little bit. The, the cut, you know, but the XR has been a great cutter. Um, oh, okay. But we do a lot of, well, not, I don't do a lot of, but there's a shop in uh, Huntsville, which, you know, we're real close, outside of, we're right outside of Huntsville. It contracts a lot of PPF work out to me. Oh, okay. And sometimes it has to come to my shop. And um, so getting that GR, I'll be able to, you know, to cut on patterns out here and that kind of stuff. And then I um, want to get into thick, to, you know, try out motocross and UTV graphics, which is a lot thicker stuff. Yep. That, that cutter being able to go like a, I think it's like 600 grams of force is you know versus the G, the XR which can only go like half of that you know that's kind of what I got that for but uh, yeah we're kind of probably having had a cutter well, yeah we're we're planning on getting a separate cutter too, soon too because this just isn't working 
But what what's the problem with it? Apparently, it's like I, I haven't operated it myself yet. That will be in the new year. I'll start actually printing. But Lee's been using the printer, and I think he says he's trying to do perf cut, and perf cut isn't working. Okay. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know all the details. He hasn't told me too much. All he says is it's not working properly to cut stickers. So. Uh, yeah, perf like my XR. I do a lot of perf cutting. Um, it's you can't do very complex things. No, okay. It's, it's, when I when I perf cut stuff, it's for like rectangular circle stuff I, I keep it simple i got one company i do work for out of georgia and it's it's kind of a little bit of that's as far as i'm willing to go with it it's a little more com um actually i got a sticker here yeah that's about as complicated as i'm going to get with perf cutting oh okay all my xr um i'm curious to see what the independent cut you know the standalone cutter is going to do but uh <laughs> but I, I remember when i started perf cutting on the xr i had to make my own swatch for it and i, I know now it's like i it's when they install that cutter they or the new printer they uh they got you know versus works now it's got its own standalone perf cut deal or whatever it's a little different yeah perf cutting can be a bitch sometimes <laughs> with it. Um, i got i got a friend of mine who's got a uh, shop in uh well not a friend of mine but a, a guy i know he's up north on the east coast and uh He's, I think he's got an older VersaCam, whatever, and he, he has problems perf cutting. Oh, okay. Too, so. Luckily, I've been okay with it. Usually, I, I was like, it's like it's like a calendar media, like a standard, you know, five-year decal or laminate. I'll do like 160, 170 grams of force, and then the perf cut, I'll set it all the way up to 300 and <laughs> let it go to town on it. But the little perf strip, the, there's a little prote protection strip. It's, it's uh, it looks like hell right now, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, that's, yeah, yeah. If he needs if he needs any help with perf cutting, let holler at me. I might be able to help. But uh, okay, but sweet. Yes. Yeah, uh, well, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, give it a like. Comment your thoughts down below. If you learned something, or just give it a comment. I appreciate all the comments, and I comment back to every comment that is left on my channel, or I try to. I should say. If I don't notice it, that's the only time I wouldn't comment back. But if I notice a comment, I comment back. So I appreciate every one of you guys that watches my videos. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, once again, give it a like. See you guys in the next video. Peace.